guys, Ashley Rossi here. I'm bringing you this edition of Trip Report from Lake Kariba in Zimbabwe. How did I get here? So I flew into Johannesburg from the US and there's plenty of direct flights that you can take. And from there, we stayed in Johannesburg for one night and then flew up to Kasani in Botswana. And from there, we sailed the Chobe River and then we stayed at a lodge there. And then we headed to Kariba in Zimbabwe. Where am I staying? So I've done two nights in typical hotels here. And we also stayed at a quasi Europe exclusive lodge along the Chobe River in Nam Namibia. And now I am on a gorgeous boat called African Dream, which is Quasi Europe's river boat here. And I'll give you a little sneak peek of my cabin. So it's gorgeous because it has, this is what you wake up to every morning. I'll take you through. There's the bed. Hello. And then you can come in and see the bathroom. It's one of the nicest bathrooms I've seen on a cruise ship. And even has a rain shower. I mean, come on. So my first impressions, um, it's been amazing. Everyone has been super friendly, welcoming. The specific tour that I'm on has been of such good value. Everything we're doing is super high end and for the price that you're paying, it's very reasonable. My favorite part of the trip has been one, relaxing on this amazing cruise ship and also our game drive. So we've gotten the chance to do two game drives, one in Chobe National Park and one in Methusa National Park in Zimbabwe. And I've seen zebras, lions, elephants, you name it, everything that's here native to the region. And it's been really not touristy. So there's been other people out in the national parks, but in general, it's been felt like a pretty exclusive experience. What I wish I had more time for would to maybe be go to Cape Town after this trip or just do a few more game drives in the national parks. So for a souvenir, I'm bringing back this trivet, which was purchased in the village across from where we stayed in the lodge in Namibia. And it's made of bottle caps covered in gorgeous fabrics. The type of person who should take this trip is someone who is really interested in wildlife. It's maybe a little bit more of an experienced traveler or likes river cruising. There's been a great balance of downtime and activity on this trip. And I would highly recommend it to a group of friends, a multi-generational trip, or even if you wanted to go as a couple for a honeymoon or just a romantic getaway. All right, well, we're about to pull into the harbor now. It was great catching up with you, and I hope you tune in for the next edition of The Trip Report.